Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Lords of the Fallen. Let's see where adventures can be taking us next. In our last episode, we were working our way through the Calrath Cistern, which is like the sewer system. And we got through, I think, two little mini-bosses. The Skin Stealer and like, a Triple Reaper fight. We also picked up an item. Look over, it's probably the faster to go this way. The Adir Worshippers Saw. And we're going to see if this is the tool that Damaros needed. So we hopped on over back to the Shrine of Adir and see if this is what she needs. Who is that guy? He's just kind of hanging out over there. And who is this guy? That kind of looks like... That mini-boss that we fought a long time ago. That Crimson Rector dude. I wonder why she's got him. I dare be praised. He'll see my devotion when I create life in his name. Another loyal servant to herald his coming. You can make yourself scarce for the next part. I need to concentrate. Okay, anything we can buy here? Just the proselyte garb. Okay. I wonder if we just reset the area, if anything changes. Oh, he's a proselyte now. Okay, so I guess it didn't go well. I'll be with you in it. Let's rest one more time just to see if there's anything else going on here. is ancient taboo but no true follower of a deer should choose caution over dedication and i didn't come all this way just to hesitate now i need to feed upon the flesh of the rogar but only the most powerful those whose strength will bless me in turn I'm a tongue of flame in the inferno of a deer's vengeance, and a fire needs to be nourished. Make the sacrifices you have to, and bring me that flesh. I knew peace once, for a time. A deer will give me that back. Hand over Infernal Enchantress Flesh. In the divine sight of a deer, I consume this blessed flesh. <coughs> okay, 
hand over the spurned progeny. In the divine sight of a deer, I consume this blessed flesh. <coughs> Okay. Reset one more time just to see if that is all that we've got going on for now. Okay, so we have to find more flesh for her. Okay, so before we head on out, I wonder... Actually, I think we should probably go to the actual seedling first. I think we're going to check on the brightness a little bit. It was a little dark last time. Is a menu option? Okay, R2... Okay, brightness. A little brighter. Oh. There we go. Might be easier to see while we're recording now. It was a little dark last time. Okay, let's start exploring the Revelation Depths. We also picked up that sword from one of the reapers, left hand bringer of stillness sword. We've switched this one into our left hand now. It applies frost, or frostbite, which kind of might be a fun thing to try out. Our last sword, I think, was hallowed praise. That would, that pretty much did blood with a little bit of holy damage. This does more physical damage, as well as the frostbite. So we'll see how that works with our Kukujin sword. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people trying to push us off here. Good aim. <laughs> okay, we got some nuggets. Here, a bell. Okay, pointed stick, and shards, nice. soon, I think. What is down this way? Ok, 
Yeah, that takes us down. I wonder if we should go up first. And across. Right over here. Oh, that's a bummer. This area, what is oh we got a gargoyle. Those guys are just not any kinds of fun. go. Okay, replete vigor skull. We have that way. Lots of paths here. We have this way. This looks like just an item. Old Mornstead Pike. Let's hop back up. Don't need that on. Oh, we cannot cross that. That hurt a little bit. I'll just go right into Umbral. Let's see if we can get this item over here as well. Okay, so we're going to be jumping. Large shards, nice. Anything else we're supposed to get over here? Maybe not. Shovel head. Got a ladder over here we can knock down, it looks like. Ok, 
Okay, where does this put us? Okay, that was right down where we were. Okay, nice. A little shortcut. And then we have this path over here, which is nothing. Okay. Just to make sure. Okay. Oh, that poor guy. Shackled at the ankles. I think we got everything. I think next is this direction. We got a seed bed here. Wonder if there's a vestige close by. You're not seeing anybody. There are some over here. Oh, we got an archer over there. That's He's not any fun. <laughs> He's hanging out way over there. How do we get him down? We can't see him. Guess we're just gonna go this way. Oh, oh my god. We backed up too far. Okay. Oh, that didn't feel good. Let's get this. Or not. Okay. Pull these levers. Oh, is that an elevator? There we go. I wonder where this goes. Miner's Desperation. Okay, we are by a vestige. Nice. Definitely needed that. 
I'll find the bastard who took that pendant. Okay. You find them first, you tell me. Understand? Okay, we're still Copy trying to help one. out Byron. Okay, nothing over here. Let's just keep going down. Parasites? <laughs> okay, we can get this guy over this way. There he is, okay. That one... What does that do? Okay, so that pulls it back up, maybe? Yeah, let's go this way. We don't need that, because we have the... shortcut now. That path and this path. So many paths. <laughs> this place is like a maze. Okay, oh. wither bolts. Where we started. All the time, that was just a torch. <laughs> I feel like we're going to fall here. Maybe not. Chipped spear. Okay, nothing over this way. Does not oh does that break? Nope. Okay. Creepy. Climbs down. Okay, 
Just, just the one miner. Oh, we got another miner over here. Probably take this guy out. There we go. Also have that path, which looks like an umbral situation. Let's go down here first. Is he gonna climb up? Okay, so we happened to umbral at some point. Item, poison cure. Okay, we got one of those guys. What was up here? Ammunition satchel. now. Okay, probably go that way next. Then hop back down here, get out of Umbral, and then I assume we go that way. Oh, is that a torch? There we go. fun. Okay, let's pull that on over. Go. Almost rolled right off. Okay, we've got an item here. else over here. Oh, it just rolls right back. Okay. So let's go this way next. Up this ladder. this. Okay, we're going to have to make a jump. Okay, certainly quintessence. Nice.
Oh my god. Well, that didn't feel good. That didn't feel good, but we got we, we got what we came for. <laughs> okay, so we have that shortcut, which is awesome, because <laughs> that's quite the the path. Pull that elevator on up. kind of skip these guys. We don't have to concern ourselves with them anymore. We got some gargoyles over here. Vigor is right over there. Pickaxe, we're going up this way, I think. Actually, we're going over here. We did kind of get what we came for, though. I think we have our bigger, so we're okay. I think I have pretty good aim. Okay, then we go this way. Oh. I actually gotta go this way. And then hop down over here. Ah. 
Back into Axiom. Torch up there. Oh, we've got a Reaper friend over here. So a little bit more of exploring. This area. Oh, we got an archer over there, it looks like. A couple of them. Oh, that didn't feel good. Yeah, that's one. He's got a parasite on him. My god. Oh my goodness. Kind of in a pickle over here. Okay. Into Umbral we go. And that's one. We get this torch over here. Go down that way, there's a ladder. Okay, we've got a torch. Ouch. Ouch.
Oh, of course. Oh, that was a little too close. <laughs> that was too funny. Okay, back into Umbral we go. Let's light that. Okay, shortcuts over there. Gargoyle City over here. Maybe one more. A nimble ring. Don't fall off. <laughs> yeah, let's get some space over here. Oh no, don't fall off, please. <laughs> Where are we? We're gonna die. We are dead. Down we go. <laughs> so close to a bit a shortcut, I bet. Probably that bridge or plank we have to push. Let's see if we can get there again. the track. What is the nimble ring anyway? Let's see. Increases agility attribute. Oh, that might be good. Well, we've already got 50, so we're pretty much locked in. This way. And go this way. I 
wonder if we should also put on... Maybe Bridgestone Parish are just better. I assume they would be. This way next. Then down the ladder. Alright, we've got a parasite. Let's hop on down here. And we're all the way over here. Knock that down from the other side. And we meet again. Truly really terrifying. <laughs> okay, at least this time we are an Axiom, last time we were an Umbral. Was a uh, quite the experience. Our vigor should be right up here. Oh, that looks like a mimic moth thingy. Lucky paw. Are there more gargoyles over here? Okay, let's see if we can make this jump. We died. Uh, no. <laughs> At least we go into Umbral. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if rolling is better. Instead of a jump, just a nice roll. So close, too. So we're right around 49 minutes, so we gotta try to do this quickly. This is definitely an area. <laughs> and I still feel like we're still missing stuff. Just because I bet you there's so many things in this cave of a place.
Okay, there we go. Oh my god, he really follows. Over here again. Go right over here, over here. Down we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's just take our position this way. Roll worked, okay, nice. Just for fun, we're gonna get this right here. Because we don't want to go through that again. <laughs> okay, we gotta go into Umbral for that part, it looks like. Regular nuggets and a pickaxe. Oh, and there's our shortcut. Is that a vestige? Just looks like one. <laughs> Wither arrows, cool. Okay. Not sure what is that way just yet. Fungal Bowman Trousers. Another seed bed. They're everywhere. <laughs> I wonder which one's better. Okay, light fire. Okay, we got a couple paths here. And we're all the way over here. Okay. First things first, let's just get a level of endurance. Now, let's hop into Umbral real quick.
Okay, let's pop this. Oh, Lord. Actually, hop down. Pendant of Atrophy. Oh. And we hop out here, I guess. Exploring. We've got this path over here. Creature. We can talk to you. Okay, awesome. I'm Winterberry. You're my first customer today. I don't get many. I've got nice things, though. I like your lamp, but I know you won't trade it. A long time ago, I asked someone else who had a lamp like that if he traded it to me, and he called me a bad name and told me to go where he cut my head off. He was rude. There are lots of nasty people in Mornstead, but I'm quick and clever, and that's how I find so many amazing things to trade. I just found a necklace here in the mine, but you can't buy that. I'm keeping it for myself, because I love it so much. Hello. I've got a shop. Katrin's pendant. We definitely need that. I'm keeping it for myself. Oh, we can't buy that. <laughs> because I love it so much. Stereo pendant, a pendant containing a strange crystal of dazzling, almost hypnotic colors, increases spell power. Anchorite's ring, sorceries, crossbowman's ring, crossbow bolts, ring of sanguine might, posture damage upon striking an enemy inflicted with bleed. Oh, that might be good. Barrage root. Have you seen any of my friends? They're a bit shy. They like to stay in the dark, but you can hear them. Well, they're not very friendly, but I still like knowing they're there. It means I'm not on my own. 
Have you seen a they like to spell? It means I'm not. Okay, awesome. Okay, I wonder if we can talk to Byron. Because we did find that, but not quite sure yet. So we couldn't get the pendant from Winterberry. <laughs> Either way, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point here. We're right around an hour. And we made some pretty good progress. All the way through, I think, most of what this level is. So I think in our next one, we'll continue on the other path we didn't take and see what we can find. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.